trying to stop Corden Lawrence and co today is the man with a record number of appearances for Boston, goalkeeper Paul Bastock. Something's got to give, hasn't it? I mean, they're attacking, then obviously they've got to be, uh, hopefully, weak going backwards. Hopefully today we'll find that out. Fingers crossed. It's just a buzz to be here, I mean, Christ, 12 years ago I'm playing in the conference and then Unibond, and now I'm playing against Mansfield, and uh, it's dream stuff, I'm well happy. And like Mansfield, Boston aren't short of goals just recently. The last six games have been good, but October was a good month for us, but, uh, you know, that's gone now. Uh, we're going to concentrate on today's game against Mansfield, and we're, it's going to be a tough one, there's no question about that. Mansfield Town today could propel them into second place in the table. A win for Boston United would almost certainly move them into the top half of the third division for the first time. by two Boston players. Oh, he's wriggling away nicely. Good skill there from Neil McKenzie. Let's see what Vaughan can do with it. Plenty of movement from the yellow shirts ahead. Starting with Corden here. He's got a brilliant left foot and he's got a decent right foot when he chooses to use it as well. But he may be able to use it from the free kick. Conceded by Ellender. Who positioned this one? That's who was posted two men on the end of the wall. It's McKenzie! And he's it was a big roar, but it's the side netting and not the actual net. Terrific crack, though, from Neil McKenzie. Good take by Duffield. Ball inside Ellender. Ellender will stroke it through. Jones on the race with it. And it was just shouldered aside by Hassel. They clear us out of defence, though. Thompson, Thompson for Duffield, Peter Duffield, and the ball is in the net, and the flag has already been raised. Well, Peter Duffield will be bitterly disappointed by that. He looked to me as though he was in an onside position. He flipped the ball, wide and built it into the Mansfield net, and the flag had already been raised. Creating space for himself here is Julian Mendes and the ball is dragged away from his foot. Only as far as Wayne Corden. He'll go for goal! Fine save by Paul Bastock. The game really coming to life now. Mendes was driving through it. The deflection carried the ball to Corden who had one thing on his mind and he hit it right-footed hard low to Bastock's right and an excellent stop from the record appearance holder for Boston United. Leap by Artel. Carey still for Boston though. Now Simon Rusk. And Rusk again here. And Boston have three across the centre. And he's looked away, but a big, big chance here. And Weatherston scores. Boston lead. They were all at sea, the Mansfield defenders there. Simon Rusk played the cross in. And when it went all the way through the penalty area, Simon Weatherston was on the end of it to hammer in his third goal in the last three away games. Chasing back, they want Holsen uh, to run away with the division. Top of the moment by four points. But Mansfield, one of the chasing back, and uh, with Ben forward here, he's onside. This is Julian Mendes. Has he got the pace to hold off Green? Has he got the pace? And has he got the shot to go with it? Phil Mill comes to its feet. There is a roar around the stadium for a classic striker's goal. Sent on his way, Julian Mendes outstripped Mark Greaves. He's still celebrating. I don't know what that's all about. I've no doubt they've been working on it in midweek, and he's been working on his finishing. And Julian Mendes rattles in his first goal in seven games. Williamson, a square ball to encourage Hassel forward. 
Castle it is now. He's got a man wide in Lawrence. This is Liam Lawrence. Mansfield at four across here. Great chance. Great goal. Two for Mendes. Two for Mansfield. Excellent cross from Liam Lawrence. And Julian Mendes. Well, it's his day, isn't it? And he rises almost unchallenged to plant it wide of Bastogne. Mansfield lead for the first time with their 38th league goal of the season. Mansfield's first attack in the second half. They're on some now. They are flying. This is Corden. And now it's Larkin. Larkin. Oh, and a brilliant save from Bastock. Colin Larkin so close to making it three. And Bastock may be 33, but he flings himself to his right like a spring chicken and flicks the ball past the angle. Critical moments of the game, please. Up goes Dave for a header. Then it's knocked back across by Vaughan. Mendes! Kicked out of the line and slashed into the crowd by Lawrence, who hangs his head in shame. Mendes was on a hat-trick. Somehow it was kept out on the line. Goodness knows how. And Liam Lawrence should have added to Boston's misery. A terrific attacking stuff from Mansfield now. And Boston are hanging on. They're on the ropes. That's a corner. Ball uh, dropped onto the back there of Lee Beavers. And Mansfield always dangerous at set pieces. They've scored more goals from corners this season than any other club in the division. And they look for a third goal here. This is what they work on during the week. Forward runs are made by the big defenders. Oh, and it was a Bastock header that denied him. Terry Vaughan with a cracking header right on the mark as well. And Bastock's made a couple of brilliant saves in this half. Three more points for Mansfield Town. They've only dropped four in nine matches here at Field Mill this season. Another excellent win for them. And Boston fought valiantly all the way, having taken the lead through Simon Weatherston. But this was Julia Mendes' day. He came up trumps. He came up with two goals. And as a result, Mansfield Town had beaten Boston by two goals to one. If you have nine home games played and only four points dropped, you really are making it a bit of a fortress here. Um, we try to. It seems like if they're going to come here, they're going to have to stop us from playing uh, attractive, uh, attacking football. And um, fair play to, to Boston and Neil Thompson team today. I thought they came and they gave a, a great account of themselves. We give a good account of ourselves, but at the end of the day, that's not good enough for me, not good enough for the players, because you want to go and get, get points. You know, If you're going to do anything, you've got to come here and get something. Uh, we're close, but not close enough today. What about a celebration down here? What was that? You've been practising that one? I've been practising that one. I didn't tell anyone I was going to do it, but um, you know, it was good to um, get it out here. So. Yeah, that Liam Lawrence is a bit of a character in his time. It wasn't a bad cross for him, was it? No, it wasn't a bad cross at all. No, I've, got to, um, I've got to give him a couple of quid for that there, and, you know, so I'm pleased with that. One goalkeeper made a thousand, Peter Shilton. You're, you've only got about 400 to go. He was quality though, weren't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think you were today, weren't you? Well, every, every dog has his day, and today I've had a bit of an inspired game. I mean, with you boys turn up, I normally chuck him in, but today I managed to, to keep him out a little bit. But Fastock couldn't stop Mansfield's junior Mendes, who was still dancing well after full time. After the break, all the rest of the nationwide league goals.